Welcome back guys, Western Sharpies RC. Thanks for joining me for this part three video on my 3D printed ship build. Thought I'd make a little video and just show you the progress since the last one. Um, I've since added about four cans of Rust-Oleum filler primer to this. And it's starting to look a lot nicer. And you can see, or you can't see uh, anymore, the, uh, the seams where the sections were glued together so still needs a lot more sanding but even in this gray filler primer it's looking pretty good so um, I think I've pretty much printed all the parts from this design that I'm going to use there's still quite a few things that other guys who built this ship have that I don't know where they've got some of the files for so there's no instructions. I'm trying to message some of them to find out, like the uh, the little winch for the anchors, all the riggings, the the mast, you know, all the little details. It'd be nice to know where they got those. But I might have to just design some stuff myself and uh, f kind of figure it out. I've uh, actually redesigned these doors. Um, the original one was just a little too wide I thought so just change that up a bit still quite a bit of work to go into this I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna RC it or just leave it as a static model I, I really want to put some electronics in it and uh, see how it performs in the water but there's quite a bit more work to that and uh, I'm just afraid I'll, I'll kind of mess with the uh, the nice scale look because everything's gonna have to be sealed up like all these patches and, and removable and it might not look as nice uh, as if I were to just leave it as a model so but I do want to have uh, some lights and uh, some smoke coming out of the stack so I don't know Okay, one other cool little thing I want to share with everyone is this little RC tugboat that I found. I watched a few little YouTube videos on RC ships and boats and, and this thing came up. Um, so I ordered it off Amazon here in Canada. It was 107 bucks, and I thought that was a decent deal. But then the next day I saw it on AliExpress for 43 bucks, shipped and everything. So canceled the Amazon order and got it on AliExpress. But... Um, I got to do a voiceover for this clip too if you're wondering why I'm pointing at things and things aren't making any sense. Um, but anyway, it says 172 scale, but I don't think that's accurate. It looks really good beside the ship, which is probably like a 130, 135 scale. So I thought it'd be a good little recovery boat if I do decide to RC the ship. Um, or if I don't, it'll look nice beside it just as a model. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with everyone. Cool little uh, RC boat for a kid or for yourself I mean I would have loved to have something like this as a kid but anyway I'm gonna pull it out of the box and then try to make it look a little nicer I'll paint some stuff up and uh, we'll have a look all right so I got it out of the box just to show you guys all the parts and the pieces here's the transmitter not too bad I mean for what you get as long as the steering's proportional that'll be nice feels all right got a little spring to it fits in the hand all right um, so yeah you get a parts tree a little bit of assembly here's the cab and then a little connection there which I think connects into that which gives you some lights there's one light there and then there's another one over there so that just slides into place and there's the battery, 3.7 volt, comes with a little charger. Um, some instructions. They look pretty detailed for a little single sheet, not too bad. And then the little hatch cover, which I don't know if I'll be able to do one-handed. So roughly like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this thing apart and paint a whole bunch of things. I don't wanna 
I don't want to leave it with this. Challenge fearless. That's just kind of dumb. So I'll get rid of all this stuff, repaint it, try to add a little bit of detail to the cab. And then um, even the floor's got some texture, little planks to it. So uh, I'll get it all fixed up, paint it up as best I can, and then we'll have a look at it beside this bigger ship and see how it looks. All right, I just thought I'd include this here. I had to pull this piece off so I could get this black part off so I could paint it separate. So I have to remove the five screws from the bottom of the hull. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a few screws holding this piece in. One, two, three, four, five, six. But anyway, just have a little look at the inside. It's got a little dual rudder system. A little servo, a couple little tiny motors. And then here's got to be the, the speed controller and the uh, receiver. A lot going on for 43 bucks. All right, guys, all finished up with a little tug retrofit, and I think it turned out pretty good. Spent a few hours just painting mainly, and then added a couple of things, like these two stacks that were just stainless steel straws, and then some signage. And I got a little figure in there. I didn't have anything to write size other than this little Buddha guy. So still think it looks a lot nicer than it did when it came, but 43 bucks for this little thing. You can't go wrong with that. Can't wait to get in the water to see how it performs. From the videos, they look really nice. They got a, a bit of pep to them, but uh, the main thing that I like about this is that it's practically the same scale as the ship. It looks really good beside it, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Part three of the ship build with a little tugboat bonus footage. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.